This is a short video that's designed to help you determine what logger, uh, MX2001 water level logger model you need, what, what pressure range you may need, and also what direct read cable length that you need as well. So the first thing we need to know is what's going to be our range of water level, uh, the expected range of um, water level that we're going to see during our deployment. So we want to determine that first. So here, we this is highlighted. Uh, again, we have four different uh, models to choose from depending on the range that we expect to see. Keep in mind, one of the things that becomes uh, confusing sometimes is our well may be very deep. However, our water level change may be very small. So keep in mind that we want to select the model of MX2001 that gives us the best resolution for that water level measurement range, not just how, long, how deep the well is. So that's something to keep in mind. So you can see we have 4 meter, 9 meter, 30 meter, or 76 meter models to choose from. So you want to determine that first. And then we want to figure out how deep we're going to be deploying that logger from the surface. So again, to calculate that cable length, start with the desired distance to the sensor. You want to subtract 0.39 meter for the logger portion of it. And, uh, and again, we want to make sure that we realize that custom cable lengths could vary a bit uh, from from the ideal. Uh, we try to get them as close as possible. Typical uh, variance is, is between 1 and 3%. And again, we have st st some stock cable lengths that we, we have right in our facility. 1 meter, 5, 10, 15, 30, and 60 meters are available. And uh, if you need a custom cable length, uh, it'll take between two to four weeks to get those made.